Good morning, all you YouTubers. This is my very first video that I'm posting, so um, please be kind. And I collect books, board games, and Barbies. So I started, I always collected books and board games. I started collecting Barbies two years ago in March, coincidentally, and I'm an adult collector, so this video is geared more towards other adult collectors, so if you're under the age of 13 or 14, I advise you to stop watching. Not that I'm saying anything bad on these videos, but still, just because I know that that's what's going on on YouTube now, apparently. So, anyway, I wanted to show you this Monopoly Junior Disney Princess Edition. I remember my first um, Monopoly Junior back then, and it was the original one from 1990. I think there's a there's a video about it on here called uh, I think Bowers Board Games, and he did a review of it. So check that out. I'll probably post a link to that video in the comment section if you want to check it out. And I'm not alone here because I have my dolls with me as well who also are curious and, and interested in playing. There's a lot going on right now, apparently. So not just with COVID-19, but it's also National Women's History Month. So there's a lot of female empowerment movies. There's a new one on Netflix called... Um, self-made i believe based on madam cj and her products octavia spencer was phenomenal in it if you haven't already seen it i advise you to check it out it's pretty fierce so loved it great it was pretty awesome so let me introduce these dolls of course i have my this is my only disney doll and i had to get her because you know fond memories my niece had her when she was little She's now in her, like, mid to late 20s. And this doll is from Box State 1992. Very cool. On the back, it's her and Aladdin on the magic carpet. I always loved her shoes because, you know, they're very true to that culture, that heritage, that style. I love that. Always has, like, this beautiful Persian-type shoes. I don't have the Aladdin doll. Neither does my mom. It says, Aladdin tries to win the love of Princess Jasmine by pretending to be a prince. It is only when he reveals his friendly, open personality that he wins Jasmine's heart. Aladdin whisks her away on a magic carpet ride over the city and they fall in love. When Aladdin overcomes the evil Jafar, he learns it's what's inside him that counts and he and Jasmine live happily ever after. So... That's her. She's a little dusty because of where I had her stored, unfortunately, so I had to wipe her down. Eventually, I'll unbox her because I have to. I mean, seriously. And look at the beautiful purple gown she comes with, the little jeweled headdress, which she has as well. Can't really see it with the glare. Sorry about that, guys. And her necklace is backwards, so when I unbox her, I'm definitely going to be fixing that. So... Then we have the first babysitter skipper. Love her bangs and she is redressed because I didn't feel like her original outfit screamed babysitter to me or said babysitter to me. Um, she's from 1990. She comes with a baby, of course. This is the very first um, babysitter skipper because goodness knows there's been so many. So this was the first in 1990. Her hair is like this cotton candy. <laughs> mush when she came out of the box which you know it's been described as that it just gets really frizzy and not really probably the best texture of hair but I, it reminds me of like you know back in the day what Barbies used to look like before everything changed and skippers changed so much over the years but this is my favorite head mold of her bangs and her pink ribbon and one of her fun fashions very 80s i mean the big sweater and then like this the light pink skirt over the the leggings very original 
And I don't think these were her shoes. I think they were Teen Time Courtney's sneakers, tennis sneakers at the time. And yeah, she doesn't come with these high tops. I found them online. I thought they were really cute. And they were originally made for another Skipper doll I have because I have so many. And I got her these stockings that were made by this woman on eBay. She makes these, hand makes these, and st it's just really cool. And um, they cover up her spotted leg. Unfortunately, she has spotted leg sing syndrome that uh, I was told a lot of these dolls from the 80s have. She's from 1988, my favorite, Courtney. Teen time Courtney, absolutely love her. She has the only one with, I think she's the only one with the light brown eyes. And I love the green eyeshadow she has, very pretty. Red ribbon, the beautiful puffy curly hair. And I had her redressed as well, but I had to put her back in her original outfit because, I mean, how could I not? Like, I love this outfit. She also comes with, like, these little pantaloons, cute little shorts that go underneath for her pajama party changeover, which, you know, that's what her outfit also changes into, a cute little pajama party outfit. So she's absolutely pretty. My favorite... Courtney ever made and I think it's the first Courtney ever made in 1988 and then here which I love this doll because she could also stand on her own so can my skipper sometimes but she's been falling over a lot which is another reason why her hair is probably messed up but this is party and play Stacy and she's from 1992, is what a boxy says. She also comes with another little outfit and a soccer ball and a hairbrush. Very cool. And I love her hat. Like, I took it off at one point and I regretted it because <laughs> I thought she looked cuter with the hat on. So I was like, let me just leave it on. It's like a felt material with a little black ribbon on the back or wrapped around it. Very 90s, love her jacket. So today they'll be joining me in unboxing this Monopoly Junior Disney Princess Edition. I had to get it. And the main reason I got it was because not only can you play as, I think, all of the main princesses, um, it also has these really cool castles instead of the hotels, so... That's another reason why I got this edition, which I, I just recently found out about this. I didn't even know it existed. So it says, choose from eight Disney princesses, Ariel, Pocahontas, Snow White, Belle, Cinderella, Jasmine, one of my all-time favorites, and Sleeping Beauty, and Mulan, 40 plastic castles. Wow. One dice and one pack of money, eight movers, four stands, one label sheet, instructions, 24 chance cards, and of course the game board. So this is Box State, Parker Brothers, and Hasbro. And I'm trying to find what year this, because apparently there's three different versions of this game. So, sorry, let me find out where it could be. There it is. Okay. So it was 2004. The other one apparently had cardboard pieces and people complained about how cheaply made the board and the pieces were. Um, they're not as nice as this version, apparently. So it's the 2004 edition, if that's what you're looking for or trying to find people it's from Parker Brothers. So make sure you look for that symbol. I think the other one's either Fun School or Waddington's, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure that that's the version with the cardboard pieces that you don't want to get because they're really tiny cardboard castles that are flimsy and easy to break for kids to like not even be able to play with. So let's pause this video and I'll unbox it and show you guys the board and pieces. So here we go. Okay. So we're back, and this is the setup of the board game. 
it's really really small it's so cute i think it's even smaller than the original monopoly jr from 1990 and it's cute though i love the little artwork on the board mushu from mulan shang you got the chance card space with um mr penny bags i believe his name is money bags penny bags ride con roll again Mulan herself, Flounder, Prince Eric, and apparently there's um property value ten two dollars. <laughs> See Ursula pay two dollars. I guess it's like a, a tax space. I love how wicked she looks there, Ursula. So cool. I always liked that villain as well. Oh, instead of the prison space, I guess it's a, a lunch space, which is interesting enough. I'll have to read up on the instructions. This is a more of a unboxing review as opposed to like a how-to video. So there goes the Beast, $2 with Belle. Chip, Ride the Magic Carpet, Genie, Aladdin. $3 that property value is going up so it gets higher as you're going around the board like regular Monopoly Mr. Monopoly's loose change Chance card Miko John Smith Another chance ride the canoe roll again sweet. I love that Pocahontas God, I love it. How I love how each princess is not only playable, but also represented on the board. Prince Philip, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. My favorite fairy gals. See Maleficent, another tax base. Another, this is probably my favorite villain of all time. Not because of the movie Maleficent. I just thought she was so pretty. And, um... So regal at the same time. Chance. Go to lunch, pay $3. The Prince, Snow White, and it's green. The Seven Dwarves. Ride the Magic Coach, roll again with the Cinderella Coach. Love it. So pretty. And one of the purple castles in the background. Jack and Gus, Prince Charming. So I will be playing as Princess Jasmine, of course. And I chose the purple color. So apparently that coincides with the castles, which are really cute, very tiny. I mean, look how small it is with my, ooh, sorry. Look how small it is with my fingers. And I hold it up to you. Love it. Very kind of detailed. I'm trying to, there we go, get the focus on there. Very pretty. Very cute. Very detailed. I wish they did a little more with the, the money. You have a $1 bill, $2, 3 4 and 5 They could have, like, put a cuter design on it. But it's it's cute for what it is. I mean, this is a kid's game. Designed for ages five to eight. So, and it's a two to four player game. There are 12 castles of each color. I just have them displayed like this on here until gameplay. And I'll teach myself how to play it. And they, it came with a little sticker sheet for the numbers. This is for the die, which I know some of you can't stand, you know, doing the sticker thing, but you know. A lot of Mattel playsets have that where you have to add the stickers to things. And the little cardboard cutouts came out of this, the princesses. So my babysitter Skipper will be playing as she chose Cinderella. Which used to be my first favorite princess when I was a kid. I burned the hell out of my friend's VHS tape. <laughs> so. She goes with the pink. 
and my teen son Courtney is going to be playing as Belle, who's her favorite from Beauty and the Beast. And of course, she's wearing her yellow gold dress, beautiful ball gown. And Stacy whispered in my ear that she wanted to play as. Ooh, sorry, Stacy. <laughs> Didn't mean to drop you. She's going to be playing as Princess Ariel from Disney's Little Mermaid, of course. And unfortunately, one of the castle tops broke off. So, but that's okay. There's so many. I mean, there's 12 of each color, so I'm not worried about that. But I guess it sort of snapped in this little plastic bag that it came in with the little token bases. And here are the instructions, which are very tiny. <laughs> very small instructions. Uh, so I'll definitely have to read up on that and see how to play. Maybe I'll do another video of how to play. If, if you guys are interested, just let me know. You could, like, ask for it in the comments or, or not. It's up to you, of course. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. And I'm going to check out this game with my Jasmine from 1992 and see what it's all about. So anyway, take care of yourselves and have a good day. Okay. Thank you. Bye.